I'm going to show you how to create a simple inventory system for your VR application or game. This can be useful in many cases as almost every single VR application has some kind of inventory system to allow the user to store their items in it. So if you want to learn how to do that, please stick around until the end. So let's get started. The first thing that we need is our basic scene setup over here. So we have our main camera, our directional light, our floor, and the OVR player controller with the custom hands under. And then we have a couple of objects right here that we're going to be using to test the inventory. So first of all, we're going to go to our left hand anchor and then create under custom hand left an empty game object and we're going to call it inventory anchor. And we're going to set it to Z.3. So it's a bit in front of our left hand and that's where our inventory is going to show. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create an empty game object and we're going to call it inventory. And then from there, we're going to go under it and create an empty canvas and call it title canvas. After that, we're going to go and set it to world space width to 500 height to 100 and positions to zero. Then we're going to scale it to 0 0.0007. And we're going to go and under it, we want to create another element and that's going to be the background. But first let's recenter our inventory away from our hands and then go to our tiled canvas and create an image, call it background, set the width to 500, height to 100, and just put any background image you like. Then after that, we're going to go to our background and next what we're going to create text. We're going to put inventory, we're going to center our text, set it to a bigger font, and make sure that the width and height of the container is the same as the canvas, and then set it to 50 and change the color to white. And there we have it, that's going to be our title canvas. Next we're going to create an empty game object and call it slot 1, and that's going to be our first slot. We're going to create a canvas under it and call it slot canvas and then set it to world space, width 500, height 500, positions at zero, and then scale to 0 0.001 for all X, Y, and Z. After that, we're gonna go under our canvas and we're gonna create an image and we're gonna call it slot image. That's just gonna be the background image for a slot. I'm gonna select the image that I imported. You can select anything you like. And I'm gonna set the width and height to 500. Then after that, I'm going to change the color to a bluish color. That's going to be our default slot color. Next, I'm going to go to our slot and I'm going to set the scale to 0.7 for X, Y, and Z. And then we're going to set the X position to negative 0.2 and the Y position to 0.2. And then we're going to go after that to our title canvas and set the Y position to 0.45. Now we want to add some elements to our slot. So we're going to go and add, first of all, a box collider, and that's going to allow the objects to interact with this slot. We're going to set the size to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and we're going to set it to is trigger. After that, we want to add a rigid body, and we want to make sure that this rigid body is kinematic and the collision detection is continuous speculative. After that, we want to go ahead and create some scripts. So the first script that we want to do is called inventory VR. And this one, we're just going to import right from our website and you can find the link in the description. And that's because it's the same script that we've had previously for the debug video. So we're not going to write it again. After that, we're going to go to our Oculus folder and we're going to go to VR scripts and then util and in here we're going to create two scripts the first one is called item and the second one is called slot 
And then we're going to go ahead and open these scripts in Visual Studio. And we're also going to open up the OVR grabbable script from Oculus to make some changes. As you can see, we're now in Visual Studio and we have our scripts open. So the first thing we want to do in our item script is delete the start and update functions, declare a public boolean in slot, public vector3 slot rotation, and set it to vector3.0 by default, and then a public slot, current slot. And we can delete the first two lines. Next thing we want to go to our slot script. And from there, what we want to do is put using unity engine dot UI. Want to delete this line. And then public game object item in slot. Public image slot image. And color original color. And then we're going to go in our start function. And we're going to set slot image equal to get component in children image. And we're going to set original color equal to slot image dot color. We're going to delete our update function. And instead, we're going to put our on trigger stay function. And then inside of that, we want to check if the item in slot not equals to null, then we're going to return. And then we're going to do game object obj equals other dot game object. And if is item obj, then we're going to return. We're going to declare that function later. For now, if ovr input dot get up, and then ovr input dot button dot secondary hand trigger, which is our grab button, then we're going to insert item obj. Next, let's create our function. So the first one checks if the certain object is an item, and it's going to return object.get component item and it's going to return true if it, it is an item and false if it's not after that we're going to declare insert item and then we're going to do object.get component rigid body and set it to is kinematic and then object.transform.set parent set it to game object.transform and true and then object.transform the local Euler angles and local position. And we want to set both of these, the first one to vector 3.0 and the second one to get component item and our slot rotation variable. And then object.get component item dot in slot and we're going to set it to true. And then get component item current slot and set it to this slot. And then item in slot equals to obj. And slot image dot color, we're going to set it to color dot gray. So the slot turns to a gray color when we have an item in it. Then last function reset color, we're just going to set the color to the original color. We're going to delete the first two lines. And then after that, we can go ahead and go to our OVR grabbable script from Oculus. And we want to find our grab begin function and add the following to it. So the first we're going to add a comment to clarify that this section is added for the inventory. Then we're going to check if the game object get component item equals null. Then we're going to return. If not, then we want to check item dot and slot. And if it is, then we want to do the following. We want to get the component in parent slot and set the item in slot to null. And then we're going to get the transform.parent and set it to null. And then get component item dot in slot and set it to false. And then we're going to get the item and current slot, reset the color, and then current slot equals null. And this is how we basically grab the object from inside the slot. Now that we're back in Unity, we're almost done. We just got to do a couple of things. The first thing is to add our script to event system. We're going to add our inventory VR script. And for the inventory, we're going to add the inventory object. And for the anchor field, we want to add the inventory anchor that we created. Next, we're going to go to our slot and add our slot script. And we can just leave it. Then we want to duplicate these slots and make three more. 
and adjust their positions so we have four slots in our inventory. After that, we're going to go to our three objects that we want to be able to grab and put in our slots. And we're going to add the OVR grabbable script to them and also the item script. And if you can see for the monkey, the Y rotation is 180. So if we want it to be facing this way, we're going to be adding 180 to the Y in the slot rotation. And that way you can have a certain rotation for every single game object that you like. We're now ready to go and test in the headset. As you can see, we can now open our inventory and it follows our anchor that we set. Then we can go to our table and choose our items and place them in any of the slots and it will snap to the slot and it will also change the color. And as you can see, the monkey had snapped at the rotation that we set it, which was 180 for the Y. If you liked this video and you found it useful, please like and subscribe and let me know what you like in the comments. Thank you for watching.